Man, where is Wilson? He tripped. Dude, I'm out here sweating like crazy. You in there, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get AC. We got work to do, bro. We got all these speakers to talk about. And you in there getting all the AC. You dry. Look, you, I got the sweat rag out here. Your ass is dry. Okay, here we go. All right, let me, let me get a sip. All right, you got that on already? You got that on camera, dude? Yeah. Really? <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Sorry you had to see me get up in Wilson's Grill Richardson because today he is tripping. He's hanging out in the AC. I'm out here suffering in the heat comparing Bluetooth speakers for you guys. Look, man, it is Soundcore season right now. We got the new Soundcore Boom 2 Plus in the building. Well, not in the building, but out in the wild. It's out, you know what I'm saying? So we're just vibing with it, testing it out, comparing it to other speakers and how it sounds. So we've already done, this is the Soundcore Boom 2, right? Boom 2, and that's Boom 2 Plus. And we got the old school Motion Plus. So we've already done videos on these. So let's just put these right here. Let's go over here and see what we're going to compare it to next. Uh, wait a minute. What are we comparing it to? Is it, is it one of these? Yeah, the Extreme 4. Extreme 4. Do you really think Extreme 4 compares to that? I mean, that's what they're competing against, right? That's what they wrote? They did. Soundcore says that the new Soundcore Boom 2 Plus is the best uh, Bluetooth speaker under $400. This... It doesn't come out in America till June, which is a couple of days away from the shooting of this video. This is the Extreme 4, and it's $379 or $400. I don't know how much they're going to release it for, but it's the three cent. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. All right. So let's let's sit here and let's, let's talk about this. I feel like this is it's almost unfair, Wilson. <laughs> I feel so as well. So, all right, Wilson. You remember what this sounds like, right? Yes. All right. It sounds great. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm just saying we both agreed it sounded great. Yes. But we also agree that this thing needs walls. Yes. In order to hear the, the low end bass and sound the best, it needs walls. Whereas all speakers sound better with walls, but this one actually performs extremely well outside. Like it is a top tier performer outdoors. As a matter of fact, earlier we was over there around the corner with the ac and i could still hear the lows in some of the mids and highs even though the ac was blowing so in terms of price we got 379 slash 400 for the jbl extreme 4. we have 250 dollars for the uh, soundcore boom 2 plus I, I feel like we, we do we need to do this? seriously you guys want to see this Okay. All right, fine. Let's just do it. Let's just get on with it. All right. Where do we start, man? We got big and little. You want more speaker or less speaker as far as size? I don't know. This one, I think they weigh about the same, to be honest, which, well, no, this, this is heavier. Okay. Let's talk about some specky stuff. IP67. So it's got the full water and dust proof. Okay. IPX7. The X is kind of like maybe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if that means something to you, then, you know, that'll help you with your decision. Wilson, where's my preacher rag? Where, where's, where's my, oh, there it is. I'm sweating like crazy. All right, so as far as durability goes, the, the IP rating, it's gotta go to uh, JBL. And this is a very close second because IPX is, is pretty close, right? But then you got the actual build quality as far as materials. JBL is always top notch when it comes to build quality. I ain't even finna sit here and try to act like this speaker is, doesn't feel like a more quality and expensive speaker. It's got the mesh wrapped around it. It's got like neoprene and silicone and rubber on the outside. Like you can just thump it all around and it's not move too fast for you. Just thump it around and do all kinds of stuff. And it's just rubber, you know what I'm saying? Got the big base so it doesn't roll around anymore. This right here is pretty clutch. Um, you can replace the battery. Uh, or just buy a new one and have it on standby. I don't know what you're going to do with the extra battery. But here's the thing, man. I've, th I've thought about this. By the time you need a new battery, let's say it lasts a year or two, right? Let's say two years. How long do you think it'll probably last? About a year and a half, two years. Okay, let's max out at two years. By the time two years roll around, are we already interested in something else anyways? Like the new version? 
Some people want to keep their old version, and this gives you a way to, to actually keep it. So the longevity of the speaker is going to be awesome. But the way these things move, we're already going to be interested in the next thing anyway. So I don't know. It might be a moot point. I don't know. Anyways, build quality definitely goes to JBL. Although the Soundcore Boom 2 Plus is no slouch. Dude, this thing is built out of tank plastic. Okay, it is a very durable speaker built out of tank plastic. I don't know if that's a real thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is tank plastic. Um, what else do we wanna talk about as far as, it? oh, so when we talk about portability, these are all portable. T up to 24 hours of battery life, up to 20 hours of battery life on the Boom 2 Plus. We have a carrying hand, no, we don't have a handle. All we have is a strap, okay? All we got is a strap here for this thing, and that's fine. We also have a Corona opener attached to the strap, which is super clutch, all right? Gotta give it up to JBL on that. But we have a strap and a handle on the Boom 2 Plus, okay? So you can carry it boombox style or, you know, over the shoulder or crossbody, which super, which comes in super clutch because when we were moving these speakers, you know, from A to B, how many of them did you shoulder strap? I probably was holding like two of them on my shoulders. And I was carrying the other two in my hands. So it's good to have both options, right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> this is only one option. All right. As far as physicalities go, I think we're there. Um, as far as, you know, covering all the bases with the exception of the lights. Do you care about lights, Wilson? Not really. I actually, I don't care about lights. I really don't. I, I, yeah, I just don't. But this one has lights, okay? You can control the lights within the app because you do have app, app. You do have apps. <laughs> you do have app access in both speakers. Although this one just has, uh, you know, controls for the, for the lighting and of course, of course, the EQ and stuff. Uh, the JBL Extreme 4 EQ settings are cast so you can connect to all the speakers and, you know, stereo and stuff like that. This one you can connect to other speakers as well. Uh, speaker booty, that's important because this one has something that a lot of people will appreciate. On the speaker booty of the Soundcore, you have to charge in and out so you can sip off of that 20 hour battery, but this is clutch right here, that um, 3.5 millimeter aux cable input. You're gonna need that at some point. We needed it the other day and didn't have one because I didn't have this. But the JBL Extreme 4 doesn't even have a speaker booty. You just got your USB-C input right there where you can charge in or out. You do not have an aux cable that you can use. But those are feature things, okay? Um, on paper, I think the JBL has more wattage. Like, I don't know, I, I think, I'm not sure. I don't care about watts. Do you care about watts? Not really. All right, fine, we ain't gonna talk about it. But that's on paper and that's like technical stuff. The real deal thing that we really need to talk about is performance, okay? So we'll talk about it, but then we're going to show you. So Wilson, outdoors, which one are you going with? Soundcore. 100%. You said that really fast. Yes. Right? <laughs> Soundcore. <laughs> okay. No competition to me. <laughs> okay. I got to agree with you there. Indoors, which one are you going with? Uh, that's hard to decide. Okay. I think in terms of its value, I would have to go for Soundcore. You still want Soundcore? Yeah, it's man, it sounds great. Well, I'm at least glad you had to think about it. Damn. Yeah. You, you, you got because, listen, the Extreme 4 inside sounds great. When uh -huh. it bounces off the walls, it sounds awesome. But yeah. when it comes to the value between these two, definitely the sound core. Okay. Well, value is one thing, but I'm just talking about what you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about the money at this point. I care about what I want. What I want to hear and see and feel. What, what do you want? Sound core. I want you, you really didn't I'm have sticking. to think. No, I'm sticking with sound core. <laughs> Dude, you're not making this easy no, for me. Because you know people be thinking that Soundcore be paying me to say everything. No. And when you say Soundcore that fast, it seems like I paid you because they paid me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, fine, man. Soundcore it is. And you know what? I got to agree with Wilson. Wilson is never right on pretty much anything. Well, lately he's been right. And on this one, he's right too. Because if it was up to me with, you know, my personal money, I got to go with Soundcore because it sounds way better outside and it sounds just as good indoors um, as far as like what I can do with it. I feel like I'm better off getting the sound core. You got the handle here, you got this. If I ever want some lights, you know, if I just want to play around with some friends and do some crazy stuff, I'll throw on the lights. I don't even have that option here. And I actually paid like a lot more money, you know, here. So fine, I, I hate saying this because you know, the they gonna get me in the comments, man. <laughs> They're gonna be like, oh, 
How much does Soundcore pay you to say this? You JBL boys, man, I swear. Anyways, let's take these over here, man, and we gonna give you some sound samples and play them A to B, let you figure out which one sounds best to you. You already know our opinion, but until we see y'all again, keep being good to each other and we'll see you when we see you. We're pulling up on call. Tell me as you're trying to fuck. Ooh, I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. you know we all for do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking out loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way now we grown up. My look, yeah, I made a real smoke nervous. Thank you.